We've got a skunk in the shed. We gotta get him out of here. <laughs> yeah? Last scene in front of KW. No sighting. Get him out of here, bro. We go flush him out. I need rocks. Don't, do not upset him. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Is that a bad idea? Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for stopping in. Look at Kenny, he's got his first job. So before harvest starts in full swing, we gotta haul a little gravel for that cement we just poured. And uh, we're gonna hook Kenny up to the belly dump, see, see how she works, make sure there's no issues. Just wanna double check, never, it's, brand, or it's new to us, so we have no idea how it drives or really runs with a load, so we're gonna make sure there's no major issues like overheating or you know, the Lord only knows what could be ruined. So this poly plate, since this trailer's got no jacks, he likes to eat poly plates when you hook up to it. Looking good. Just gotta make sure it's not too high. Oh, that works. So for whatever reason, the plate was slid way to the back and we're gonna move it forward some, get more weight on the front axle and this pusher axle. And this is actually very amazing to me because normally these don't slide. Maybe I had a little bit. I really have no idea and without scaling it, you're not gonna know exactly, but I want it set. Automatic, ride the brake. Yeah, right there, drop the pins in. I can't believe it, it actually works. It actually works! That's, the, I think, the only truck that that works decent like on. I like I don't like driving this, so I think I'm gonna love it in the long run, but it's a lot to get used to. <laughs> uh, the guys told me that riding the brake with the auto is the only way to really be finessing with it. Oh, I know. Like, hooking up. But when I, left, I was off the brake completely there trying to move the pins, and I had to get on the throttle. Backing up to a trailer, yeah, it was all brakes. <laughs> We're going downhill, so I can't wait. You just never know what to But happen. the brakes are touchy and I'm, I'm nervous on camera. <laughs> you know. So I'm gonna go get a load. <laughs> you need to come look at this. What? Well, we are going through the combines here. And... Look at the dirt. What do you got here? They changed, is that a 10 now? That looks like a 10. What are you doing? Hold on. How long do you think it's been like that? I don't know, but it's busted your plastic cap now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, no! That can't be good on anything. Well, I went to check the Funny uh, the chain, chain didn't tension. jump off. Yeah. That would have not been probably good in corn we, under massive loads. We just put a new one in, but I don't remember which combine. Is that one shot too? Time will tell. I've been hearing this weird rumbling. I even thought yesterday when I was out, that sounds like something I'm gonna find out where it's coming from, and this might be it. I hope it is, I don't want any more rumbling. But it sounded like the feet accelerated was coming from. Good, good. <laughs> All right, I helped Eric get that apart. Mom's gonna pick parts up. Brody's washing the sprayer so we can winterize it. And I think Dad's gonna go landscaping. Mm -hmm. All right. So far, so good. I do like this Kenworth. You can see so much better. A lot more visibility out of this thing. So going to the gravel pit, I mean, I've been here many, many times in my life, but it's different every single time you're here because they're always digging out of a different area. So you never really know quite 
where you're going the first trip to town. Looks like they got two entrances now, all of a sudden. I was like, when there's other trucks, then I know right where to go. You just pull up, follow, follow the line. Here we go. That's a big loader. I think he puts about three buckets in and she's full. Now whatever I do, I don't want to hit that switch. Because then it unloads. You see that sitting there? I just recognized that. That's Big Mac! What's Big Mac doing down here? Huh. We sold that truck. Was that last winter? Not to these guys. Maybe he's been resold again. Well, just like that, we're out of here. Three dumps and I got the beep beep. Time to go. Well, I'm on load number three. Truck's working good, but now the yard's all plugged up. They're winterizing. Okay, Jet! You're in my way. You're in my way. How's it going? Get, it's an adjustment to learn an auto. Why? It's, I keep going for the clutch all the time and there's no clutch. One more load might do it here. I think so. Huh. So can I go get it? I don't care. Not can either. he? All right, Dad took the truck to go get more gravel. He wanted to drive it. And I said, have fun. And so it is pretty fun. New experience. And uh, the boys got this winterized and greased. So we're gonna take it over and unhook it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda glad I missed out on the winterization part. It's not hard, it's just that I've done two already this year. <laughs> There's the bend site. That's the shed we're heading to right there. But we have to go like a mile to get there. We need a driveway. So I don't think we got any fields that look like that. We got some that are turning color, but those aren't far, far out. I would say end of next week, they'll probably be cutting beans. We'll see, it's gonna be cooler, so they may not mature quite as much as they have. Last week was insane with that 100 degree weather over the weekend. But this is this is a lot of what ours looks like. A lot more green out there. So, I don't know. Third week in September probably, soybean harvest. They're trying to race me! You can't even see them in there, it's so tinted out. This thing cruises. It's insane. Now they're dusting me out. Come on, guys. Yeah, go right more. Right, that's my... Right. Right. Straight. Straight. Yeah. Yeah. Straighten out the sprayer a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of come straight back. Can you see anything? I can't see anything. About 15 feet or so. into a dark shed, you can't see nothing. I can't see anything! You might be too far over right away, but you're gonna have to cut her real sharp here. So turn the tractor to the left. Lower down. Can he, can he crank it? All right, without moving, crank it. Zero turn. Cranking, it's not going! This ain't at all like what I'm used to running. This is how we get to pull it out next year. Six inches. Okay. All I hear is just random yelling. Swing it! Swinging! I've never been able to see the side of a sprayer before. Oh my god! It looks, it looks crooked! It looks... How are you supposed to work with people like this? I can't hear anything besides yelling. Am I supposed to do something? I got bad news. Bad news?
know how we're going to get the old jack in here. Oh my gosh, I wrecked this too. Oh god, that's comforting to know. What was the first thing you wrecked? <laughs> that's not important. Are we free? Oh my god! It feels like I'm really close. There must be a cheery mood. They're really smack talking today. Okay, that's one, two, three sprayers parked away. Until next year. Until next year. We don't have to worry about closing the doors. Got the globe, boys. So now, now Brody doesn't screw up the line anymore when we're combining. More like you. <laughs> Can we walk on this? We've got a skunk in the shed. We gotta get him out of here. <laughs> yeah? No sighting. Get him out of here, bro. Go flush him out. I need rocks. Don't, do not upset him. <laughs> He's down there? I do not see him. He's by the Gehring Hoff, you say. Oh, he's under the Gehring Hoff. Boy, I hope he doesn't gun off in here. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. He's underneath the stock rolls. And I think he knows I'm here. Is that a bad idea? How did he get by me? <laughs> I don't know. He wants to turn my head. He's faster than he's seen. <laughs> Help him back towards the head. Dang it! Brody, get off the tractor and flush him out! Here he goes! Oh, he's right there! He goes, there. Well, we got him out of the shed, so that's good. He's been digging uh, around the house on Grandpa's new seated lawn where we took the landscaping out, so... He wasn't lying. There was a skunk around. Oh, All right. Well, cleanest. we got the forms taken off of the cement. or working on pulling these out. And uh, then hopefully we can backfill this. We want to take them off before the cement got too hard and we glued itself to the wood. But the big Swede installed these two foot long stakes. 16 inches deep. I'm tempted just to cut them off. I know. quite nicely. It's as long as he stays away from the crack board concrete, don't chip them. I like this packer. Fills the bucket up and just Gets as much weight as it can. <laughs> That turned out really nice. We gotta haul maybe a little bit more gravel inside the shed just so that it isn't like a, a ridge each way that the semis mud flaps will drag on and get ripped off, stuff like that. But I got a load on this truck, so we're gonna take this, unload it over there. We're gonna start a new stockpile for the yard over there, I guess. So Friday night, everyone's wanting to get out of here. So I'm gonna do this and we'll worry about that Monday piling it up. Oh, here we go. Doggo. Yeah, I was pumping this up so high. I like sitting on the ground. You know what a good solution to that is? Putting big visors on so you have to sit on the ground. So we're thinking of making the pile right there at the end of that building for now. So I'm just gonna kinda, you know, dump it anywhere here. So let's see, that's that button. We're gonna lock it together so we don't get stuck. Dump the air because it unloads so quick. We're gonna propel ourselves forward. Dump the trailer. Look at my snail trail. All right, 
and that's Friday Night Wrap. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Really should fix that wash out there. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. See you later.